Hi, and uh, welcome to the LB0 Fox India YouTube channel. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And uh, what if I told you you could build an antenna for ADS-B for tracking airplanes in less than 20 minutes? It'll probably take you about 15 minutes, all with things you have around the house. So the first thing we're going to do, though, is um, go to this website. I'll link it down below and uh, figure out what dimensions we need to use. And um, I'd like to use antenna calculators, not because I don't necessarily know the math, although half of the time I really don't know the math, but just because it's, it's simple and convenient. So as you can see, for this ground plane antenna for ADS-B for 1090 megahertz, we need uh, one uh, radiating element or receiving element in this case, uh, which is 6.5 centimeters long and four radials that are 7.3 centimeters long. So pretty simple. We're just gonna go ahead, go to my workbench, and I'm gonna show you uh, how you can build this with stuff you have lying around. And uh, no need for an antenna analyzer or anything. So let's head on to the workbench. So these are the things you need for this uh, simple ground plane antenna for, uh, for ADS-B. You need a soldering iron. And if you're like me, a middle-aged man with, uh, with middle-aged eyes, you need an extra lamp, even with all the video lights here. Uh, besides that, you need a clothes hanger. Uh, and just to make sure, this needs to be metal. It cannot be plastic, it cannot be wood. It's gotta be a metal hanger. If it's got some plastic on the outside, that's okay, we're gonna fix that. Further on, you need four machine screws for the, uh, radials you need four ring connectors for the radials you need a so239 connector and you need some solder uh, some solder and that's uh, that's pretty much it and what actually helps you a little bit in addition to that is a pair of calipers like this and a marker so let's uh, get started as we saw in the introduction, we're gonna need uh, uh, one element, which is 6.5 centimeters, and radials, which are 7.3 centimeters. And this is a receive-only antenna, so you just gotta be in the ballpark. We're not gonna put this in an analyzer and see where the, uh, the resonant point is. Uh, the point here is to build something easy, will, which will get you in, in the ballpark. So let's start here. We'll measure out 6.5 centimeters here, which is 65 millimeters, give or take. 65.07 is, is close enough. And we're going to just measure out the element here. And then we take our marker and mark this. So we're going to cut this one first. And I'm just going to use a letterman to cut this just to show how simple it is. Or probably how simple it is. And on a side note, if this was a transmit antenna, we would take much more <laughs> care of the measurements being correct, but this is a receive only antenna. So we got our center element here. Now we're gonna do the radials, which are 7.3 centimeters. Let's zero it and That's close enough for, for our purpose today. And just got to try to keep everything somewhat in frame here. So there we go. Let's cut that one. And 
let's just use our first one here to do the rest of the measurements. And I know that some of you guys are going to comment that this is not accurate enough, but trust me, it is for the purpose we're doing today. So here we go. We got our center element here. Actually, we've got that element here, which is 6.5 centimeters. And we got the radials here. So you can see this is this is a compact and small antenna. So let's uh, remove some of the isolation on the clothes hanger here so we can solder it on and uh, get going with that. So in order to strip the isolation, we're just going to use a knife. And you could either remove all of it but I'm just going to key, remove a little bit where we're going to solder. It'll make the antenna look nicer. So there we go. Let's get on to, to do some soldering here. So what I'd like to do is to take the single center element first and solder that on. Let's just see if it fits here. And it actually doesn't fit into this connector. So I'll be right back with another connector. Got another connector here. And that brings us to my next point. Make sure that you have something that fits inside your connector. Let's just check that this fits. And it does. So. And please don't judge ourselves. And we're gonna just tend a little bit. First. And I should have some hands here, but I don't. Close that. And what you might notice when we do this is that the plastic on the closed is gonna melt a little bit. But don't worry. It'll still work fine. There we go. And if you don't know how to solder, this is, I mean, this is a good starting exercise for you. It doesn't matter if you spill a little bit of solder and if it doesn't look nice. So that's the center connector. Let's go with the radials here. And what I like to do here is just to remove this little plastic part here. And you could pretty much just crimp these on. And you know what? Let's do that for a start. I'll be right back. And on to my second pro tip here. Just make sure you bring uh, everything you need to, for starters. And I'm not really sure how well, the, how well this is going to crimp, but let's give it a shot and see. Let's start with the middle one first. And that crimped on pretty good. Let's do the smaller one and just make sure we got somewhat of a mechanical connection at first. So we'll crimp and we'll solder. Just got to figure out a way to have this stand a little bit better. And a pair of helping hands is actually good to have. I can find mine at the moment, so that's why I do it this way, which is by no means the most effective way of doing it. There we go. Again, not the prettiest part, but... Uh, we're just winging it now. So let's do the other ones. And I'll speed everything up so you don't have to watch that in real time.
And there we go, four radials, approximately the same length. And the next step is to bend the radials at a 45-ish degree angle, or actually a 45 degree angle, but uh, so just take a pair of pliers and see if you're pretty much there. And there we go. So let's get ahead and mount everything together. What we're going to do now is just to take our screws here and pull them through. And what you might need, um, I'm just going to check this, you might need a washer just to make sure you have a good mechanical connection here. Uh, let's just get the nut threaded here and see. And there you go, a uh, quarter wave ground plane antenna for ADS-B. Not necessarily the best antenna, but it does work. I use that on my own ADS-B receiver, uh, completely similar antenna. And it works, it actually picks up pretty good from an inside position. So it's good enough, at least if you want to experiment with ADS-B. If you want to get serious about it, you might want to consider building a, a collinear antenna. A dipole should work, although I've had better results with a ground plane antenna than a dipole doing this. But it's all up to you. It's all about experimenting. And uh, this little thing, it works. So go ahead, set aside 15-20 minutes and just build it. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, please do consider liking, subscribing and commenting. At least comment. I like the comments. and. Uh, and I like responding to comments. I like having a discussion among the topics. And if you spotted anything I did wrong, uh, probably did a lot of things wrong, please do comment. Let's get a discussion going. Let's figure out a better way of doing things. But uh, until next time, 7-3.